Hello, Martina. Sammy, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, long time no see. And what is the answer? The answer is not me. <laughs> I've been I've been on YouTube almost every day uh, with live talks, and I put the posts on um, um, Mind the Six Truth uh, Facebook page, and none of you show up. <laughs> Hello, Amber. <laughs> And today I thought maybe I'll just uh, go on because I already finished my YouTube uh, talk uh, that was earlier on morning about um, 10.30 or 10.45. And uh, we had about two hours of live talk and usually live talks on YouTube goes on for two hours. So there are so many questions and I always hope that you guys will see because I always put the post on the Mind That Six Truth author Facebook page and Mind the Six Truth books Facebook page and uh, also on my personal uh, Facebook page in case any of you are there because many of you are already connected with me on the Facebook and uh, I don't see any of you there so don't blame me I've been around you guys been ducking <laughs> or perhaps don't you guys get a notification when um, I put up I post uh, I put a post up place a post on my Facebook page doesn't it uh, show you that there is a post made like regular pages that it does because if it does then you should see my post that it says in half an hour or 15 minutes or in an hour there's a live talk on YouTube and here's the link so now I'm waiting for an answer everybody's quiet suddenly now <laughs> Jamie says I have been living life different you helped me so much from the UK what is anxiety to you and let's see it says see more how can one control it there is a video on YouTube that I've already on the channel if you go on my channel on YouTube and click on anxiety you will see or go on playlist anxiety and you will see my personal uh, idea and thinking on this topic as you know guys I'm not a doctor I'm not a psychologist so anything that I say in my videos or here is about my own understanding and my way of delivering and making sense of it all so uh, if you have any other particular you know, questions or concerns you must uh, consult with your physician with your psychologist or with your doctor uh, I don't have a medical background my research is my research uh, whatever it may be but it's I'm not uh, I don't want you guys misunderstand that I'm a doctor or anything so having said that you can go on my uh, Facebook page and you will see uh, on my um, playlist uh, anxiety is one of the groups of videos and or if you just go on the search engine of my channel on YouTube and right in anxiety you will see what comes out of it depression anxiety and things like that uh, I can there's not much light in this screen now also on YouTube I have a bigger screen because I use my Mac it says I get a message when you start the live session yeah I see so you dig you don't get a message on the post that I put up where the live talk will be isn't there a, a function that you can click on that it will let you know that I put a post up like isn't it how it is our own Facebook pages when a friend puts a post up and you go on your Facebook you click on or when you're on your computer it just comes on that somebody left a, a message on your Facebook I mean Firefox does that even I uh, use my Mac but I use also Firefox so I can see the messages coming in when somebody puts a post up so Jamie says thank you how have you been in the ebook uh, is the ebook still making sales yeah ebook is constantly uh, selling uh, the uh, printed books which are of course you know is heavy uh, um, transient thoughts in me is about 200 pages me my psyche and I which I highly recommend it 
it's a good book, lots of information there. It's 360 pages. And the Breakup Pain Handbook is 600 pages. And these are heavy books with good paper. And they're not the cheapo stuff. So <laughs> they all include shipping and they still sell. And I ship them all around the world when uh, the orders come in. Uh, and if they request, I'll sign and write a note for them. But the ebooks, uh, these books were $80 to $105 US. And this includes the shipping. But the ebooks, the same book, but it's $4.99, $5.99, and $6.99. And my purpose was uh, to reduce these uh, uh, prices uh, to this low level was because I want everybody to have them. I don't want anybody to come with the excuse, come out with the excuse of, oh, I, uh, my currency's difference between U.S. currency is so big that the books become totally unreachable, unaffordable, and um, you know, dollar is much more value here. Uh, let's say if, whether it's India or Austria, Australia or wherever it is, I've made the prices to be like price a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or two. Because four ninety nine today, <laughs> you you can hardly get a gum with it. <laughs> Let alone three hundred sixty pages of <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> so, I've done my part <laughs> to make sure that everybody can afford it if the uh, printed matters are expensive for them, uh, which uh, but many of you have been very uh, good and um, interested and have ordered the printed books and I've shipped them to you. And uh, uh, many of you have been purchasing the ebooks, but I expected the ebooks to go, uh, you know, just nuts because of the prices are so so affordable now. And again, my intention is. Obviously, it's not economic agenda on the ebooks because it's so little. Once, uh, you know, PayPal takes their cut and, <laughs> and any marketing or advertising for it, there's nothing there. But my purpose is that I want everybody to have it in their library as a reference so they can use it. Otherwise, they will always be looking for what's the answer when they could have all these answers having understood their own psyche and where thought comes from. Where is the consciousness? What is the conditioning? Where does it, how is desire born? Uh, what is my situation have to do with my ego? What is ego? What is fear? How does fear come about? And many other stuff that has to do with your mind and body, your uh, your uh, connection with the nature, your energy flow, meditation, and uh, the movements of mind, and all that suffering and everything else that could be helpful for us to negotiate our daily life the way that we uh, could better handle it is there. So I hope that you guys will take advantage of it, the ones who haven't. And if you go on my YouTube channel and enjoy a video, please do share the video on your social media. Uh, whether it is about breakups and relationship or it's about, it's from the playlist, The Psyche, which has all these things about thoughts, consciousness, fear, desire, and ego uh, videos in it. Whatever the video it is that you like, share it on your uh, social media and like the video that you watch because it helps the algorithm and help us to be visible. We are still not visible. As much as I have reached over 1.3 million people around the world and thousands of uh, uh, viewers, and we have about 14,000 uh, subscribers, which is not much because we are not visible. As much as we've been helpful and reached all around the world and thousands of comments are all positive and appreciative about the life-changing effects that the contents of the video has had in their lives, but we still don't have enough viewers. And many channels, as you know, who, as you have said to me, all of you, many of you, that does not really help, doesn't have a good content, but they have a million viewers or hundreds of thousands of viewers or subscribers. How that happens, I don't know. Lately, I found out that it's uh, some of them actually pay to get all those numbers. And then others will see that subs are increased, so they join too because they think if somebody, if the subs are a lot, there must be a good channel. And then they go in there, they're not really that helpful to them. And they all, many have sent me emails and told me that how wonderful and elaborate and um, uh, useful, helpful the content of our channel is. But again, guys, we don't have the subs that we're hoping to have. And that's because we're not visible. So by sharing these videos and liking the videos, 
and sharing them on your social media, it will help us to reach a lot more people to let them know support exists and they can be helped and at the same time will be noticed and uh, algorithm uh, changes to our favor and uh, we'll be able to grow and expand, which that may uh, help us with the economic situation of the channel to do better and allocate more time and take it more seriously. But I'm sure you guys agree that for the past six years, I've done my part of two years of free uh, Skype uh, consultation one-on-one, -on -one, personal with anybody around the world. Now they have to go on my uh, uh, my, my site, mind that seeks truth.com and book an appointment so that's a different story now but and i've done all the ebooks so cheap so everybody can afford it so it's not as expensive as the paper books and i have live talks that are all free so what we need is exposure to get uh, you know you guys now put in what you can do by helping us to have more exposure and become more popular so having said that <laughs> Now, let's see if we can have a conversation here. Now, Art says, sometimes I feel like I'm, like I'm the king of the world, and sometimes I feel like I'm good for nothing. Well, that's because you're a human being. <laughs> that is how it is. Uh, it's not like you're an anomaly or something wrong with you. And this is what it is. Like, uh, if you consider yourself, even if you were as huge and magnificent and 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 have a presence of an ocean the ocean sometimes has high tide and low tide sometimes it's vigorous and ferocious even sometimes very subdued and calm <laughs> and the calm has a reason that others that is living off of it can actually survive and use it and the ferocious is for it to have conflux and create these energy and move all the stuff all around that is not necessarily supposed to be in it and moves that away and brings conflux and more energy and helps all the good things about it and all the things to get mixed up and get more uh, movement in it so even ocean has ups and downs so let alone us which we are also part of this universe part of the ocean part of the nature and we also have our moods ups and down and in our case maybe a little bit different but Never, nevertheless, still is normal. As long as you don't stay that low too long by create energetic movements, hopeful movements, projects, get involved with life, get involved with the moments of life, the life as it grows, as it blooms, as it happens, rather than sit there and think in your memory about things that happened in the past, that they don't exist anymore and they're dead, but therefore then you think you're living and the living that you're doing is really in the death of the past. You don't want to let that happen. But the ups and downs of life, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It says it's okay to fall down, but as long as you don't stay down. You fall down, you get up. Shake yourself out and up and start going forward. That's okay to fall down. Laying there and hoping that somebody will feel sorry for you, or you will, or a magical thing will come and provide you with all the things you want, and that's the problem. That's the mistake. Art, I hope that helps you out in a way. And uh, let's see if we have uh, Martina. Hello, Martina. Enas, hello dear. Don't be shy, come on in. <laughs> Some of you that are watching and not participating in are in green. I can see. <laughs> Nobody can hide from anything anymore. Everything is, is apparent to everybody. We can't even cross the street without our pictures to be <laughs> recorded somewhere. I wonder, but it's good here. At least I know. <laughs> and Jamie says, thank you. And how have you been? It was okay. We discussed that one. And Art says, why do I feel like killing myself when I solve math problems? Why do you feel like killing yourself 
when you solve math problems? Art, that is a riddle or a question. <laughs> because I can't make sense of it. So maybe... Uh, <laughs> Jamie says, why do I always develop anxiety once I enter a relationship? Is this answered in the YouTube videos? Well, actually, I did have a similar question, not about anxiety, but about um, the fact that uh, one of the uh, friends on the um, live talk said that when he is set out to go on a date and then he was I don't know, a few days ago and then uh, last time um, the date cancelled uh, because um, she said she was sick or something and um, he said that he was disappointed and it feels sad and wanted to know you know what can one do so that's similar to this question uh, in a way. The, the answer is the same. Maybe the question is not sim the same, but the answer would be same or similar. And that is because um, when you are about uh, to, to um, get to know someone and um, the playing the the playing field is set for you guys to get to know yourself further so you made initial contacts and you seem to see that there is a possibility to go on and it becomes a little bit of substance to it than just infatuation then you get um, uh, uh, you get anxious about it and that's simply because you your brain has already secreted this chemical of dopamine and naturally has created that uh, alerting you of something good is happening and when that something good is happening which eventually with uh, getting closer to know each other and spending more time and looking at each other's eyes and the promise of intimacy and all that the oxytocin is secreted also and then serotonin and then uh, opioid and all these uh, create such a high natural high in you but before all that happened which that is another story when then their disappointment then but this whole idea of that you about to get into a relationship the dopamine is has been uh, uh, secreted in your brain and you have been alerted of something good is happening it creates that expectation now, now you want to stay up now your brain which is designed to look for trouble to to safeguard you by looking for trouble and to uh, 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 alert you if there is a trouble to find the trouble and sometimes if there is no trouble it finds and conjures up trouble just to make you prepare and do its job because its job is to look for problems. And then because that is its job, uh, you start worrying about what if it doesn't happen the way I want it to happen? What if that whole good feeling that I have about this relationship or starting this new thing and this, this getting together with this this uh, this person what if it doesn't go the way I want it to go what if uh, if it doesn't turn out to be as good as I think it is all these transient thoughts and what ifs is because you want to stay as happy feeling as it was created for you by the alertness of the good thing is happening the dopamine and all that you like that stage of happiness and the fear of losing it is why the anxiety sometimes uh, in about relationship happens because often you you're you're apprehensive about something that is actually going well there's nothing wrong with what's going on but you become apprehensive because you are afraid if that stops being as good as it is your transient thoughts start creating trouble for you by uh, because you like it so much you don't want to lose it and then your mind looks for trouble can't find it makes a trouble says oh what if you lose it prepare for that and then you go through all these emotion and anxiety that you're you're, you're talking about uh, again again uh, remember guys I'm not a doctor I'm not a psychologist so if you have an anxiety problem go and talk to your doctor these are just my opinions and my thoughts about what I think is reasonable for me to think about and I share with you because you ask otherwise you feel there is uh, any other reason <laughs> you can check with your doctor so I don't want to um, uh, you know you I don't want you to consider me that I'm in a, any medical profession 
Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It, well, it's, it seems to be destroying all the relationships because you are trying to. You're here in the relationship, and you want to be here in order to make sure that from here to here will go well. And that's not reasonable. You should be with the now, and this is the now. Enjoy it. Tomorrow is another now. Tomorrow is another now. And take them as they come, as the now. But you want to have a written contract that this now, the way you like it, will stay for the duration of your life. Then what happens to the concept of everything has a duration? Everything must or will or could end. Not must, but not all the time, but most things have a duration. And they end. Our life has a duration and we end. So the way we, we know ourselves, we end. Now, why is it that you expect that you should be concerned about why don't you, why don't we all have anxieties about the dying? Because we're going to die anyhow, right? So what if, uh, why should I not have an anxiety about, oh, I'm going to go out, would I still make it to the end of the day? I mean, I should forget about that because that is not in my control. What is not in your control, you should not worry about it because you can only do so much. You're a human being with certain hopes and aspirations and you do your best to make things happen the way it should happen uh, with positive effects on the society and community and the others and yourself and so on. That's the best you can do. Now the rest of it is nonsense that is created and helping the, uh, the mechanism of your brain to keep uh, uh, stressing on the problem, possibility of problems. These possibilities start uh, is, 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 uh, is true in everything. Even if you want to plant a flower, you plant a seed, maybe the seed grows, maybe it doesn't. So are you going to be sitting there and just worry about it? You can, it, can, it doesn't help anything. You cannot guarantee the, 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 the journey from here to here be exactly as you expected. Even the roads that are, the path is clear, you may actually have to deviate because they're doing some road works and you go from it and come back into it. Not everything always goes as you expected. So that is given, that's part of this life. So you can't worry about when you die, you can't worry about, you can only do your best, take best care of yourself according to the science and things that is available to you, what to eat, nutrition, exercise, this and that, so forth. Okay, fine. But that's it. Same thing with planting a, a tree or a flower. You can do your best and then let it be, let the nature take its course. And about yourself, well, you have a relationship, you're, you're hoping to have one, you're here. Enjoy the moment of life, be with the moment of life, do your best to make it cult be cultivated properly and help it to grow this relationship. And if it did happen tomorrow to be the same, great. If it didn't, don't worry about it from now. And don't worry about it, oh, later on that it's not working. So, oh, what could I have done that it would have changed and made it work and it wouldn't be like this? You wouldn't know. Because whatever you could have known and known that you should do, you would have and you knew and you did so now that you think oh i should have done this no then you didn't know you should have done this or not now in the hindsight afterwards new information is available to you and you think oh i should have done that well how you didn't know that you're not aristotle nobody is and you're not supposed to know the future the future is you know it's not known to anybody and there is no real future because when the future comes it's the now so you're always in the now. When you say tomorrow, there is no tomorrow waiting for you until you catch up with it. When it's tomorrow, it's the now. So always it's now. It's always now. It's now, now, it's now, now, it's now, now, it's now, now, now. It's like a sound, song. Let's make a song out of it. Maybe we'll make more money than we make out of our life talks or the books. Anyhow, so having said that, stop with this worrying and creating these questions for yourself. What if it doesn't work? So what? What happens? The relationship didn't work. So big deal. What happened? Had you found the fountain of youth that you now lost it? It's a girl or, you know, guy or, you know, is Jamie? Jamie is a boy or, man or a girl. I, I'm not sure. Anyhow, it's somebody. It's not a deity. It's not a god. It's not a fountain of youth. If it works, great. If it didn't work, well, it didn't. So big deal. Next. 
you make it as if relationship is a whole entirety of a life. Relationship is a fragment of life. Life is the whole entirety of this experience, not relationship. Relationship is part of life. You're not living and making sense of your living because of a relationship. In the living, there are relationships. And in order for it to have relationships, they come and they end. They don't work out. If it was supposed to work out, then uh, you would have only one experience in relationship before your marriage. Because after marriage, you're not supposed to have any more, right? So even before that, you expected it to last exactly. So that means what? One relationship and that's it. Forget about even marrying. That is a relationship that you're supposed to marry because it worked. You can't. Everything is evolving. Your partner is evolving. You're evolving. So what you expect today may not be what you expect tomorrow. Maybe the level of involvement and advancement, development in the two of you is changed. It's not equal. Through one year, one of you moves in a different direction in development of mind or expectation or understanding of life and the other one in different. So you cannot expect, even if the relationship works the way you want it at the beginning, it will stay that way because everything is changing in this life. Now, if you can bond on a consciousness level, and be in tuned and into compromise and understand that this is what you want to make it work. And it's not about just the number of relationship, but about the quality of relationship. And for that, you will do your best to bond on consciousness level, to understand each other's fears, desires, and ego, each other's consciousness, your own consciousness, your own fears and desire and ego, your own thoughts and how these are all taking place and shape and what are their roles in the way you see things, you feel about yourself, about each other, about the relationship, and you act and react in negotiating your daily life. Then, then, you've got a chance, a decent chance. That would be the way you should approach it. Otherwise, you can't expect it to last or to be exactly the same because even a relationship works the way you want it at the beginning, it could still change because everything changes. But if you focus on learning about yourself and about each other, then it can work. So I hope that would be some kind of an answer to your question. And I stop now. <laughs> oh, we had one love heart thingy sent. I'd forgotten that these sort of things exist in this Facebook. That's what I love about it. You know, there are so many love and emotions come when you're interacting and Jamie says also Facebook and YouTube are making it very difficult to grow these days yeah uh, yeah for for me I don't know for the life of me we have over 800 almost 800 or over 800 channels and still counting every day now I've been having uh, live talks almost every day or every other day for two hours an hour and so there's so many we are now up to Number 113, this is number 140 live talks since August 2016 we started this. So there's so many live talks. And many of them were started in the form of lecture about a certain specific topics. And then later on after about, I don't know, uh, um, 50, 60, 70 or 80 lectures, we started opening up to question and answer. So they have a component of question and answer after a brief lecture uh, later on. But now it's all question and answer because we've had over 800 uh, videos on YouTube, uh, many, many lectures, uh, talked about some of the chapters in the book and so on. So we have really uh, uh, flooded our channel with lots of good material and content. Uh, and now we have 800 videos, we have continuous live talks, and I still wonder <laughs> what do we have to do to have that four or five hundred thousand subscribers to make this whole thing a a way of life because as you know and as i'm sure you all have told me and you can see i love this helping you guys at the same time there has to be economic viability to it which we're hoping to achieve uh, without uh, having to cost subscribers but the number of subscribers then that will help us to be visible and achieve our economic goals as well on YouTube. 
that's where the dilemma is. So anybody has a good idea, come up. Or in the meantime, I think the best policy would be if you guys share the videos that you like on your social media, talk about it with your friends, and you know, get us visible, whether it's on Facebook, watching my videos, or on YouTube. Go on YouTube, check it out, and click that bell thing to let you know every time we have a new thing coming up. So at least you will constantly watch the videos rather than waiting for the any event on, on, on um, Facebook page alone. I think if we cut every single question and answer and topic that we discussed on the live talks, we will have by itself, we will have about 1,500 new videos. So instead of people going through the whole two hour watching it, there'll be one question, one answer video, which I've tried to do most of it, but it's not most. It's only, I think I've done maybe 30 or 40 of them into small videos and they're just fantastic because now you've got a ton of different um, uh, subjects and topics. You just key in certain words and you'll see there's talks about it. But um, eventually if I have enough time, enough justification to allocate more time, I can do all that as well because that would be a pleasure. And Marsha, hello Marsha. Marsha says, I just watched you on YouTube and came here. Oh, that's cool then. <laughs> Thank you for your help. I recently had a breakup and your pebble advice helped greatly. Uh, been suffering anxiety and very bad panic attacks. I wonder if I need medication to calm myself uh, through this. Do you recommend medication to help with a breakup? As you know, dear Marsha, I'm not a doctor. Therefore, I, I refrain from making any kind of diagnosis or any kind of prescription because I'm not qualified for that. And my qualification and uh, field of study in university has been different and my research and depth of my research on matters of movement of mind and meditation and mind-body coordination and uh, movement of thoughts and consciousness and, and fears and desire and ego and understanding them and so on is based on the research that I've done from the masters who have uh, pioneered these uh, thinking and this knowledge from hundreds of years ago. And so, and then with combination of my own experiences and my own studies um, in the field of uh, meditation and mind and body coordination and nature's energy and understanding movement of mind and uh, other experiences in life and things I've written and all that, I have been able to deliver these suggestions. But these are all suggestions and ideas, my personal understanding, and I cannot uh, consider them as a, um, a replacement for any um, medicine or medical advice that you can get from a medical professional, which I am not. Now, having said that, uh, uh, and hoping that is clear to everyone, uh, now, uh, I suggest to you you go to your doctor and uh, ask him or her if uh, this is something that you need medicine for it or not or is it something that is just the uh, way you are dealing with your breakup because of the way you're looking at it once you have that uh, consultation with your doctor and you're clear on that then you and i can talk about uh, what i think that you can add to your doctor's um, uh, uh, suggestions which would be totally separate and has nothing to do with m medicine or medical work but it would be have to do with how I see the mind's movements are and so knowing that then you're not in any kind of a difficulty as far as uh, need for any medicine then we can discuss about the understanding of how thought and consciousness have a role in how you feeling what is the fear uh, uh, what is the role of fear that is playing into this whole um, uh, um, uh, situation? What is the role of your ego uh, playing in that? Uh, what is the desire? Uh, what is desire? How is it born? And how is it playing into this whole mix with you at this time? That I can discuss with you, which you can, of course, if you like, you can make an appointment with me on um, mindthatseekstruth.com and um, have a, a Skype consultation together as I have it all around the world with different people. And uh, we, we can discuss that in detail, how you can look at it and why is it 
mm -hmm. uh, that you feel the way you feel and you see uh, and the movements that you're, you're, you're witnessing from your own psyche. That is something we can discuss. And discussing about it here, that would actually be quite, because this is a question that we have had uh, with many of the people who uh, make an appointment with me for a Skype consultation and we discuss that in detail. Uh, and it's not something that I can talk about it for two minutes. It, uh, it needs a interaction involvement that you and I can interact and explore it together. And then we uh, understand and explore the movement of mind. And then we understand why you feel the way you feel and that becomes apparent and how we should look at things and understand them and analyze them so it won't affect us the way it might be affecting you right now. Uh, huh. Art says that you just wanted to make people laugh about the math comment. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Robert, hello Robert, good to see you. Marcia says, thank you for taking my question and I appreciate that. I'm doing my best to calm myself. I see my doctor Thursday, perfect, good for you. Once you got clear uh, conscious from having discussed with your doctor and you're taken care of in that department, then by all means, I'm more than happy to, if you make an appointment, we'll discuss and we'll get you uh, in a direction that would be helpful. Jamie says, thank you for answering my question. I'm going to share your videos more than, more in the future. You have supported so many and I feel it's time we supported you. Well, I appreciate that, Jamie. That's wonderful to hear because without you guys, I cannot make this any bigger. Uh, until now that you guys are here, it's been all on my shoulder. It's been all through the videos and the time that I put in there. And that's pretty much basically what I can do, which means if you look back, we'll see if that has been that much for the past four or five years, whether it's because I've been generous about my time or not um, into the whole uh, knowing how to market and so on about on this sort of things and, uh, uh, and the YouTube uh, systems and so on uh, or the Facebook uh, way of promoting stuff or not it, regardless of that that's how much is going to be another five years from now <laughs> maybe it's going to be two three times more so we'll end up having in five years more from now we'll be having maybe what fifty thousand uh, um, subscribers it's still not going to be anything so without you guys i cannot do this it's impossible so unless you guys feel that you as many of you hundreds and hundreds of you through your emails and through thousands of emails that I've answered during the past five, six years, because you know damn well that every single comment that I've received on YouTube, which there are thousands, and every single email that I've received through the emails of the mind that seeks truth, uh, com site um, email uh, uh, exchange, I have answered, responded, all free, of course, as you know. So uh, having done all these things, responded all these interaction um if the number of the subscribers are what it is well that's not going to be magically be more unless you guys get involved and promote it and promote it and like the videos that you watch don't forget to like it and encourage your friends to subscribe without you guys i cannot do it simple so this is as much of a channel, as much of my channel as it is yours, because obviously uh, it's been 
the only motivation has been to help people around the world because obviously there has been no uh, big event of economic uh, um, um, uh, um, realization. So if you guys really think that this has been helpful to you, and it has actually been, as I have heard it many times from your emails, that it has had life-changing effects on your lives, then damn well, let's, let's promote it. <laughs> Let's do that. Help me out here. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Marsha says, uh, I feel blessed. I happened upon your video. Uh, best decision on 49 years I made. <laughs> Look forward to interacting further. Perfect. Thank you, Marsha. I appreciate your time and being here. And I'm delighted that the channel has been offering a great content and helping you out on your journey in this life, which is all different for every one of us. Jamie says, and for me personally, I just feel deeply that people need your content. It's just about trying to find a way to get it into the right places. Yes, correct. I'm going to message you. I want to try. I want to try. She help. Okay, I'm I'm messed up here. I want to try. She help. Or perhaps you want to say I want to try to help, and it just the typing got there. Jamie, I appreciate that very much. Uh, I I I would welcome any uh, uh, help that we could get to get this. Uh, channel going because I do believe uh, exactly as you said I'm definitely convinced that we have been instrumental to well-being of many people around the world as they have said it uh, themselves in their comments in their contacts with me and uh, we've had great experience so now if you have something helpful to people it is our responsibility to find a way to present it to more and more to be more visible and the way YouTube and things are, uh, channels like me are not visible, even though we have more contents and more quality of contents, better quality of contents in our channel. 800 videos, I don't think that many other channels have 800 videos of this caliber, even if they do have it, of this depth that we have tried. It's been now six years, five years in the making five complete years in the making, which has backed it up with uh, three, four books, backed up with live talks, backed up with testimonials of many different people from different walks of life, students, drivers, lawyers, doctors, researchers, university professors, musicians, uh, students of our clients. We have reached every, because everybody, regardless of their, their uh, religion, nationality, and age, and profession, and gender, or whatever it is, they're all, we're all human, we have the same needs and the same psychological problems that we need to understand how our psyche works, and therefore we can help ourselves by knowing how this machine is put together, how it ticks. These are the information that we should focus on, and mostly we're only focusing on bringing our body to fitness level, rather than understanding how our mind works, and what is the role of meditation, and what is the role of our psyche, what is thoughts, what is consciousness, what is the role of them uh, interaction in interaction with each other, what is fears, ego, desire, how do they play a role in our life? We don't do that yet. We wonder, why am I not feeling good? Why can't I, you know, understand this, or, you know, deal with this, or deal with that? Well, let's understand ourselves first, then we begin to understand what it is that we are facing with or encountering battling with. All right. Ah, and <laughs> I want to try and help. Okay, okay, Jamie, got it. Got it. Uh, Jamie says your content is gold. <laughs> Jamie, you're hard, hired for the next hour as my promotional manager with these, with these golden words coming out of your type. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jamie said, this is your content is gold. Just have to figure out how to uh, dress it, if that makes sense, um, market it. Yes, yes, it does make sense. I know that. True, 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 true. Yes, right. Okay, so how long has it been, guys? Uh, by the way, guys, there is a new rule in my, in my, <laughs> in my <laughs> live talks, and that is because there's so many, uh, thank, thankfully, they're increasing, and I don't necessarily talk to you all every day. I forget where you guys tuning in from. I forget how old you are. And some of you, which their na the name or the screen uh, picture is not there or the name doesn't tell me. I don't know if you're a man or woman. So it would help me to let me know tuning in from how old them I am and a male or man or woman. That helps me to how to um, deliver, how to properly address and interact. Uh, and deliver the way I think I should. So that would be good. Now, if somebody tells me if we have anybody in the West Coast or even in the East Coast, what time it is, and then I can calculate the difference and I know what time it is now because I don't want to leave the site and go get my watch or something or look into my computer, which I just don't have it right here. Marsha says, Canada. Oh, 49 years of age. Oh, lovely, you're from Canada. And how you could tell that? Um, Marcia says, Canada for nine years of age, woman. Hope you could tell that. Yes, I could, I could tell the woman part, that's for sure. Both your name and the picture is there. That's, that was the easy part. <laughs> and... Uh, Canada is delightful that uh, somebody close by, you know, uh, uh, I, I don't, where in Canada are you? Which, which province are you, are you from? Uh, Sherry, uh, hello Sherry, 6 p.m. Central Time. Oh, Central Time. So that means we are what, uh, two hours? I'm in West Coast, so must be four o'clock here? Mm, must be, must be four o'clock. Marsh, Ontario. Oh, yes. It's about a four and a half, five hours flight uh, from uh, Vancouver to Ontario. But it's lovely to have uh, Canadians also join us because most of our subscribers are either from the United States, uh, from UK, uh, from Germany, from Australia, uh, from Hong Kong, from Sweden, from India, mm, <laughs> from, from where I am sitting, <laughs> not too many. <laughs> There's maybe one from Vancouver or two, <laughs> and uh, a few maybe in Canada, just all together, maybe three or four. So <laughs> somehow, uh, <laughs> somehow, <laughs> Canadians uh, possibly uh, believe more into <laughs> international products rather than homemade. <laughs> so anyhow. <laughs> Yes, of course, I am Canadian. Uh, here is my, there's a, there's my, my flag on a little ball that I usually have. Goku sitting on top of it is my, uh, my trademark. <laughs> yes, and uh, so just make sure, guys, do uh, visit my site, mindthatseekstruth.com, and you will have a chance to take a look at the books I've written. Each book right beside it, if you click on the book section, it brings you to books and beside each book there's a little video, two minute video, tells you about the book. Then you can click on the book, the book will eventually open, will show you the table of contents so you can see the topics that have been covered, how many chapters are there. Then you can still click on the pages and it will open for you for one sample chapter to read and see what it is all about. And if you liked it, by all means, do acquire the ebook version because the ebook version, as you know, is very, very cheap, as I mentioned, price of a cup of coffee. And I want everybody to have the book, Me, My Psyche, and I, and have that on your library. And whenever you want, you can simply refer to it. There's so many wonderful chapters. The book itself looks like this. That's what is, what's being sold in Indigo here in 
Vancouver, uh, West Vancouver. Uh, however, the same book is sold on Amazon in the way of uh, uh, e-book, which are sold for about, I don't know, $26, $27. And the other one is about $20, and the other one is $34. But on my site, all the e-books are $4.99, Five ninety nine and six ninety nine, and again, because my intention about it is not just economics. There is no economic agenda in this price uh, uh, point, uh, but I want everybody to be able to afford it from any currency. So go ahead, check it out, and if you wanted to have the real printed one, by all means, I'll sign it for you and send it for you. And that is another way for us to reach more people. However, now. Jamie says it's midnight. Where are you, Jamie? That is midnight. Sherry says, Mehran, I'm 50 year old. Daughter moved back home with also my two toddlers, grandsons. I love my family, but miss my quiet alone time. I plan to take many short away trips over the weekends uh, to find peace. Any advice? Uh, Sherry, advice in what way? In location? <laughs> then I'll be a tour guide. <laughs> then in that case, I would say Hawaii. Hawaii is my one-stop one shopping for everything. It's just uh, like my second home. I love Hawaii. I can't stop thinking about it. And uh, as soon as I uh, complete some of the projects that I'm working on, I would uh, uh, be talking to you guys from there for a while <laughs> and uh, have my live talks from there. That's as far as the spots. As far as um, you, the other po points that you're asking, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, Sherry, you like Hawaii too? Yes, that's where I... That's where my heart is, where my whole soul seems to be gravitating to it. I feel uh, oneness uh, when I'm there uh, with the nature, with everything, and uh, more than anywhere else. Um, now, about uh, the whole situation that you have in your uh, Marsha says, I'm going to, we could have a weekend three. <laughs> oh, Kriti, well, you know what? Once we get the channel going to the point that we have you know, there's enough money, then we can maybe arrange everybody chip in for their own trips and we all meet in Hawaii and then we can have our own live sessions there, not just for ourselves, but also broadcast it as everybody else could also enjoy, like we would have a, a, an area, we could sit on the grounds or in chairs, wherever, and we would have this also filmed and then we could um, upload it or at the same time live, let it go and be um, broadcasted. But it would be wonderful because then for a week or so, uh, or a few days, or as long as anybody, you know, people can last there, uh, we could have these uh, uh, elaborate and deep talks that we want to explore together and have an exchange uh, rather than just me talking, you listening. And we will explore different movements of mind and thoughts and fear and consciousness and ego and desire and we discuss how these are each born and that would be to me that's a wonderful way of spending time then we can all go have our foods or wherever we prefer and then you know enjoy your day however you want to enjoy it and so on that would be lovely but until then <laughs> until then we will we will just uh, see how we can promote this channel the first things first for god's sake guys uh, now Getting back to, um, to Sherry's concern about the fact that uh, she's happy with her family and loves that whole setup, but at the same time, she misses the alone time. And um, her daughter uh, and the two toddlers have moved in with her, which is very good. Now, on the alone time, you don't always have to go away because the alone time, the quality of exchange, when you say alone time, really what you really guys mean, which you don't notice, is you want a better conflux with the energy of the nature. And you think that is created when you change your geographical point of uh, stay. And that's not true. 
because the nature energy, universal energy, uh, is available and traveling and in movement uh, from one end of the universe to the other the universe, end of the universe, in all directions, which includes wherever you are, whether you're here or in Hawaii or in somewhere else. If you're looking for a long time, which means you're looking for a, a, a more conflux with the energy of the nature, that's the alone time. When your mind is not busy with the other things, therefore it can tune in into the frequency of the energy exchange and feeling oneness with the whole alone. That's the whole purpose of it. Alone in the dictionary, in old dictionary, you look at it, alone means all one. Well, all has two L's now, but then he had one all one so alone really it's got tremendous power and responsibility and opportunity to it alone means not lonely alone means all one tranquil in harmony with the frequency of the universe with the energy conflux of the universe with one with the nature with one with the whole entirety of the being of us the nature the universe alone all one so for that which means you want the complete conflux to create that oneness and for that you don't need to go out of town you just need to be able to create that frequency that catalyst that situation that environment where the conflux can be expanded and for that you of course need to have a time where you're not distracted from other things and you have create that space for yourself and do a meditation which would bring the ripples of your mind to infinitely imper imperceptible decreasing ripples which brings about the more calmness on the surface of your mind which would then be like the calm pond which reflects all the happenings much clearer and far more distant from before it actually arrives on the pond in other words if the pond is choppy even the picture of a big, huge moon doesn't reflect properly on it. You will look at it and say, what is it, a broken bulb? What is this reflecting in this pond? Because the waves are going up and down. But if the same pond is, is, is quiet, no waves, and calm, and surface of the water is, is clear, then even a dashing bird, before it arrives completely on the lake, it shows its reflection. The wings and everything is clear because there's not much waves. The, the brain is the same. If you can go through the exercise of uh, decreasing the ripples of the mind, then it becomes more clear and reflective. And therefore, things that are about to happen or it's not quite clear for you becomes all clear, and then you can have a better information, and from that better information, you make a better judgment. From that better judgment, you will have a happier results, which brings you better results, which brings you the happiness that you're looking for. So these are all the process and procedure to create that alone time because what you want from alone time is not just hang around, put your feet up and say, okay, I have a glass of wine and that's my alone time. No, that's a physical way of your taking care of yourself. Just like anybody who goes out for a day and comes home and says, puts my feet up on the couch. That's the first thing they do because they, want to, they say, I want to take the load off of my feet. Well, great, but most challenges in life is mental. So how are you going to take the weight off of your mind? Do you have any mechanism for that? No, most people don't. And they don't realize that just like the body, if you hold something heavy in our hands all day long, after a while we get tired or eventually we crumble. The same thing with the mind. All the weights and all the challenges are in the mind. And if you don't have a way to release these, these, these weights off the mind, take things off of the mind and take the load off of our mind and be able to let it relax like we put our feet on, on, the, on, on top of the couch and relax when we sit on the couch, put our feet up, we have to have a way to relax and, 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 and take a load off of our mind. And that's where the meditation comes to picture. And if you, if you do that and create that alone time for yourself in that way, then that would be a better way for you handling it. And then whenever we could get to Hawaii, we will, that's for sure. Or you could get to Hawaii by yourself, you will. And that's for sure uh, part of the program, but uh, to be, mm, mm, more able to have that alone time and 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 benefit from the reason you want to have the alone time is when you learn how to do that meditation and of course as you know in the me my psyche and i and uh, chapter um, uh, i think it's chapter 39 is it uh, we have chapter 
32 is meditation. Elaborate discussion about meditation and how to meditate step by step. You can do the meditation. Then chapter 33, we have our mind and meditation. Chapter 34, we have our mind needs a home. That's why it's like a gypsy. It's all over the place. It doesn't know where to be. Where everything else in our body has a place. Like our finger, we know it's here. Our nose here. Our ears here. Eyes here. We know everything where it is but our mind, our thoughts. It doesn't have a place. Therefore, uh, thoughts and mind is all over the place. Therefore, we lose the stability and the unification of mind and body. And that's when the mind and body is not coordinated in two different places. The body is here, mind somewhere else, and doesn't have a place in the body itself. So it's not totally coordinated. Therefore, we don't manifest our total power, which it actually is manifested when the mind and body are coordinated. If you look at the video that I have on the, uh, on the, on the YouTube, uh, that it says the mind power, I think it says mind power. And then you will see a, a man is trying to lift me up. A bigger man is trying to lift me up. That's a short, um, uh, um, uh, short uh, um, part of the video of the uh, seminar I did at a local university about the end of fear. And uh, for that part of it, I, I needed to demonstrate something. So if you just take that, go on YouTube and, and, and search for uh, willpower or mind power, uh, or unliftable body, uh, something like that, and you will have a bunch of videos. One of them is a 50-minute, the whole video uh, of the seminar, and which used to be for uh, purchase on my site, uh, but now I've released it for everybody to look at it. I believe it's released. And the other one is a 12-minute version of it, uh, a short part of it, and the other one is five-minute uh, promo of it. Either one of them will show you uh, what happens when you... Uh, manifest your total powers when mind and body both is coordinated and that also tells you how important it is for us to learn how to coordinate mind and body now if you understand all that and then follow the uh, the the uh, what i've shared in the chapter uh, uh, 30 34 then you'll know how to give a home to the mind how to create that so the mind also would be at the same have a place have a home in the body and so it wouldn't have to be running around and be all over the place like a gypsy. Because, you know, when you want to shake someone's hand, you know where your hand is. You don't look for it. You just bring your hand up because you know it's here. Uh, it's not like you go get it and bring it and then shake, extend it and shake hands. And, but the mind, every time you want to use it for anything, for math or for anything else or focus on something, you got to collect your mind, you say. Let me collect my mind. Why? Where has it been? Because it's all over the place. So you try to focus it, bring it, and then you try to focus in here. Because you all know focus is power. And we need to train the mind to do focus, be able to focus on demand by default. Just like when we go to the gym and strengthen our bodies with, through weight training and proper training and all that, there are exercises that we need to do for the mind to be strong because uh, strength is in focus. And in focusing time is where the real strength is. Look, as I explained before perhaps, if you look at a, a, a weak sun ray in the afternoon of the winter, even today, the sun is not so strong, is weak. But a, a weak sun ray in a uh, winter afternoon, you can still uh, put it through a magnifying glass and focus it on the other side on a piece of paper and have the paper catch fire. Why? Because it wasn't strong, but you focused the ray, the sunshine, and the focusing brought fire to that piece of paper. But if it's a, a hot summer day in Ontario or any place in Hawaii, and yet uh, it's noontime, it's very hot, but yet you use a projection, a projector's lens, projection lens, and you put it through a, a projector's lens, and the other side, that hot sun is dissipated. It doesn't, not even it doesn't uh, have, it doesn't make the uh, piece of paper catch fire, it dissipates. So we know that the focus is power. Focusing is power. That's why we got to teach our mind to learn how to focus. And that one way to do it is through meditation, which again is explained in the book. Let me uh, uh, plug the book now. <laughs> so, <laughs> everything we do, we have to... <laughs> I, I, I hope that I didn't have to sell anything. Just do what I want to do. And... Um, so chapter 34 is our mind needs a home. Then chapter 35 says the calm mind. 
chapter, chapter 36 says the mind that seeks truth. And then chapter 37 says nourishing the body, forgetting the mind. And chapter 38 says unifying the mind and body by living in the present. These are all interesting topics among what? Uh, what do I have here? It's about, uh, uh, I've got 66 chapters, 339 pages. So quite a bit of stuff for $5.99. <laughs> now, so if we have, if we are able to do all these, then you get total benefit of your entirety of existence in this journey of life. And that's how you can create that alone time to actually work for you and be a point of strength. Now, there are a lot more about these meditations that, that I talked about here, uh, which is in the book, because the focusing is the power, but the power is in the staying focus. And that's what the secret of the whole meditation is all about. Now you know it. So, having said all that, I hope that would be something that would be helpful to you, Sherry. Sherry says, a meditation retreat would be nice. Might have to find one close by. In the meantime, you can uh, do it on your own, as I mentioned in from the book. And then, of course, if we can all have a meditation retreat someday as part of our exploration of what I just talked, what we just talked about, it was a good, it's a good idea. Um, Sherry says, create a sacred place to cultivate the universal frequency, inner peace within, as so be it on the. on the out sacred space can be a space in my mind ah uh, yes i will do this okay good all right good 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 and jamie says thank you as always mehran my friend and i are going to think up a way to get more attention uh, to your content hold on to that hope good night okay jamie thank you very much i appreciate I appreciate it very much. Uh, thank you, and I look forward to it. And Sherry says, thank you. Okay, guys, looks like we have answered everyone's question at this point. We're caught up with it. So if you don't mind, I'll let you all go, and I'll go about my next um, uh, thing on the agenda, which is to visit my mom <laughs> and say hello. <laughs> on that note, I wish you all, love you all. Thank you for being here, sharing your time with me, and I look forward to talking to you soon. In the meantime, be good to yourself and to the others. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye for now.